guys so in this video I'm going to show you how to train your dog to bow in just a couple of seconds or like a couple of minutes um, so very quickly go through this so that you guys can train this at home I'm making this for the MJ's Pet Training Academy training club the private group if you're not in the private group I will share this video everywhere um, but I'll share like a full version and some feedback in the private group so you guys get feedback. My puppy is getting very frustrated with me because I'm not paying attention to her. What do you think? You ready to work? Okay, so first thing, first criteria, we're going to have our dog's placemat. Okay, so something that tells them this is where we want them to be. That's just going to take away any question. So if I tell her this is where I want to be, want you to be, that's the first criteria. That's going to take away any questions of what this behavior is, right? So I don't want her to go retrieve something or go circle around a piece of furniture or run around me or jump over me. Like, I just want you to be on this placemat. That's the first criteria. She's going wild because I have food in my hands. So to start with that, just mark for that. Like, your dog is on the placemat. I'm trying to catch her in a stand to start. If she falls into the down, no big deal. Okay, so just mark that good girl. Feed a couple times on that mat. Good. I feel like my clicker timing might be a little um, off in the audio lining up with the video, so don't go exactly by that. But what you want to click and feed for so the dog hears the marker first and then they get the treat. They follow up with the treat, okay? And that's it. That's your first criteria. It's being on the placemat and using a release, release word to come off of it. Break and feed off of it. Good girl. Easy as that. Here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so again. So my first criteria is to just feed on the placemat, on her bed. So she has no question about where I want her to be. Break and then feed off of it and use a release word. All right, so she's going back there on her own. So that's how I know I'm ready to go to the next step. So the next step is going to be to get her head to go down while she's in a stand. So I'm just gonna kind of lure her into a stand and I, I'm gonna let her figure this out. So right now I have the food at her mouth just because I'm talking to you. Um, but I'm going to move the food away and wait for her to try something. So I'm going to go into some free shaping here. Ooh, so she looked down by accident, and I caught that with my clicker. Good girl. Very nice. Very nice. And now you see she's very shaping savvy already. So she knows she's going to try. She'll try whatever worked last. Good girl, which was the head down. Good girl. And we'll go into a release break. Good. Always release every few repetitions so they know the difference. Taking a bow, we're going to call it bravo, um, is a good stationary behavior. So make sure they understand that right from the start. Very good. Good girl. She's being very patient with me because I'm talking and training at the same time. Okay, so the next step is I want to raise that criteria again. I'm going to wait for her to lean back. Okay, so if she falls into a D-O-W-N, we're just going to help and just bring our puppies out of that because we don't want that position. We want a bow or a bravo. So twice she made a mistake. So if your puppy makes a mistake twice in a row, change something. Change your criteria. Help them out. Change something. Don't let them make that mistake a third time. Okay, so I'm gonna change something. I'm going to lower her and bring her back up. So I'm gonna bring her into the bow and back up so that way her rear does not fall. Okay, so you can certainly use that lower. I'm trying to click when her elbows are about an inch off the ground so she doesn't fall into the D-O-W-N. I'm not saying that word because I don't wanna confuse her. 
Okay, good girl, good girl. That time I'm gonna click because she held her body at an angle without my food there, so she's holding it without my lure. Very good, we're gonna keep clicking for that. That's very good. Good girl, break and bring her off. Good job, okay? So we'll just do that a few more times before we add a cue. Awesome, good girl. Break. If your puppy keeps falling, like, oops, she fell that time. If you click and your puppy makes a mistake, you still owe them a food, so make sure you still pay them. But if they keep falling, just reset, break. Good girl. Let's see if she can do it on her own now. Wait a second. We'll take it, that was pretty close. Good, very nice. And this is the first time she's done this, guys. I have not tried this with her at all. Um, so this is brand new. So you can see what it looks like from step one. I wanted to give you kind of a unedited video. And see, I was talking, so I made a mistake and let her fall. That's why I'm not in the video, because this is like an impulsive thing. I just decided to train this and take this and break. Good girl. Like, I'm not really video camera ready uh, right now. So... <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Good girl. Yeah. I'm sorry. I got so super excited. This is really embarrassing because you guys can see how excited I get when my dogs get it right. Good job. Woohoo. Break. And release. So easy. I'm actually really proud of her because this is something new. I didn't know if she would get it. This is super cool. All right. So I'm going to add a, a cue, verbal cue. So no lore. We're going to do new cue, old cue, and get on just a verbal cue, okay? So new cue is gonna be the word bravo, old cue is the lore. Let's get on just a verbal cue. Okay, so food disappears, bravo. Gonna wait a second, good girl. It's okay that she fell, I'll just bring her where I want her to be. There you go, good job. Good job, break. Let's release, retry, beautiful, okay. Here. All right, so again, I want that verbal cue, bravo. Good, good girl, that was it, good girl. Break. And you can see if you want to do some trick training with your dogs, you can do this, I mean, within minutes. This is like five minutes I have free that I wanted to train a new trick and that's how easy we can do this through positive training, I mean, through being able to know how to motivate our dogs. Bravo. Yeah, that's it, good girl. I'm gonna keep feeding for that position a little bit She's gonna fall, so I'm gonna break. Break! Good girl! Good job! And with these puppies, do not overdo it. So I'm gonna do one more and that's it. Bravo! Good girl! Very nice! Break! Get your toy! Go ahead! Good girl! Awesome! That's it! Alright guys, thank you for watching! Bye! <laughs>